Hi, in this Tips and Tricks HQ tutorial, we'll be taking a look at how you can accept donations via PayPal from your WordPress website easily using the free WP Express Checkout plugin. The WP Express Checkout plugin for WordPress allows you to create a product and then add that product shortcode anywhere on your WordPress website. So in this case, I'll add it to a page, but just note that you can add it to a post or a widget as well. So then when a customer comes to the front end of your website where you've added a short code, they can click that payment button and then they can check out using the secure and trusted PayPal payment gateway. So we'll be creating a donation style product where we will be asking the customer to donate a certain amount to a cause. So let's head to my WordPress website now so I can show you how to install and activate that free plugin and then we'll go from there. So I've landed on my WordPress website where I've headed to plugins, add new, and then I've gone over here and I've added in WP Express Checkout and I've clicked enter to then install and activate the WP Express Checkout plugin by Tips and Tricks HQ. So I've clicked install and activate there. And now my plugin has been activated on my WordPress website and that new WP Express Checkout menu that I didn't see before has appeared. So this is a menu that we'll be focusing on to create our product and then grab that product short code and then we will add it to a page. So let's go ahead and we will quickly touch on the settings menu of the WP Express Checkout plugin. So once you're in that general settings tab of the settings menu, you'll need to choose your currency code from the drop down, your currency symbol and you will most importantly need to add your PayPal credentials. So this is from the PayPal account that you wish for those sales to go to, or in this case, your donations to go to. So make sure that you do copy and paste those PayPal credentials into the four fields correctly and that you mark the live mode checkbox when you're ready to run live transactions. So when you're ready to collect donations from your customers, make sure you come here and you mark that checkbox so that your customers can complete a live transaction on your website and you can obtain those donations. So in this quick tutorial on showing you how to create that donation, I won't be running through where to get the PayPal credentials. You can read about how to get those PayPal credentials on the WP Express Checkout website under the documentations page. So I'll skip that today, but just know you will need to have those credentials in place to run live transactions on your website. And make sure once you've added them in, you scroll down and you save the changes that you've made there. So we'll move on from there now. I'll quickly paste mine in before we move on you'll need to go and you'll need to click on that add new product button. Once you're on that add new product page, you'll need to give your donation a title and a description. So you might not be actually selling a product. You might just be collecting a donation in return just for goodwill, um, but you'll still need to add it in as a product. I know it sounds a little bit confusing, but it is just the way that we need to do this to grab that short code, which will allow us to put the payment button on a page, post or widget. So I'll go ahead and I'll give my donation product a title and a description. So I've added a title and I'll go ahead and I'll add that description in. So now that I've added in that description there about what the donation is going to be used for, I can go down and I will need to click that donation option under price. This will give me that minimum donation amount field. So the minimum I'd like people to spend would be 10 USD. So I'll just put $10 in. So that gives me a really good donation from each customer that's going to donate to again, help us afford food for the farm animals in need. So scrolling down, so you can add a product thumbnail that relates to your donation. I'll just add the picture of the farm animals in. And then in this appearance related section, you can alter what the button says. So by default, the pop-up modal trigger button will say buy now. So it makes more sense to say donate, donate now or something more specific to your donation product. So I'll just go with donate today. And then the button type, it makes more sense to say pay or check out rather than buy now. As buy now can be a little bit misleading as the customer might think that they're actually buying a product rather than just giving a donation perhaps for just goodwill as my product is. So I'll go with pay. And now that I've completed the fields for my donation style product, I'll publish out that product. 
Now that I've published my product, if I click on the products menu, you can see I've done a couple of test runs with the donation products, but here is the one that we just created and I'll copy that short code. As I mentioned earlier, I'm going to add it to a page. So once you add your page, you can give it a title and then you can click to add a short code block and then you can simply paste in that short code of your product. So if I just add this short code, it's only going to give me that purchase button, which says donate. But if I want to add those details, such as the thumbnail image that I added, the description that I added, the title that I added, I'll need to add the template parameter in. So I'll go ahead and I'll add that template parameter in there now. So it's just template equals one, and that will give me that nice box for my product, as I'll show you on the front end in just a second. So then let's add a title, donate today. So I'm just running through a very, very simple donation style product for the purpose of this example. So I've added in everything there and I'll publish out my page and then we'll be able to view that page from the front end of my website. So there we go. There's my donation product on the front end of my website. And then my customer could come on and click the donate today and then they can check out with their PayPal account to donate the $10 USD or perhaps they are feeling a bit more generous and they're going to donate $20. So you simply click on that and they can just override there. And then instead of donating 10, it will jump to 20 or they can enter any amount of their choosing. So if my customer is going to donate $18 to my cause to donate to help our animals, then they can choose to write $18 in and they can then choose to pay with PayPal or their debit or credit card. So if the customer is going to pay with PayPal, I'll run through a sandbox transaction just to show you how that would work. So the customer would need to add in their PayPal email address followed by their password. I'll quickly add in my password now and then I'll click login. Click login and my customer is going to use their PayPal balance and they will pay now. And then my customer has been directed to their thank you page where they can see that the animals are very happy with their donation. Our animals say thank you for your donation of 18 USD. So I can see that I donated $18 to help out the animals and I've been thanked on the thank you page for that donation. Now as an administrator of this website, they, those funds should reach my PayPal account that I've set up. So it will reach that PayPal account of the credentials that you added in that settings menu. And then on your website, you can go back to the dashboard and you can view that order within the orders menu. So I'm back in my WordPress dashboard where I'll show you where we can find that information about that transaction. You just simply go to WP Express checkout and you click on the orders menu. So then in that orders menu, I can see that just uh, two minutes ago, one of the donate to help our animals product was purchased and $18 was transacted. So I can see that all there. I can click there to view more details. And if you have collected the customer's address, you've specified that within that product creation page, that it was a physical product and that you wish to collect the address, their address would be found by clicking on this description there. And you can see that customer's address shipping details. If you're just creating a donation just for goodwill, so the person will donate and not receive anything in return, it's a good idea to just state that in that description so that the product is not misleading in any way possible. So now that we've completed that, our customers can come on the front end of our website and they can complete the donation. So if I head to the front end of my website, I've created a couple more donation products here, as you can see. And I've listed multiple short codes on one of my pages so that someone can choose to donate one bale, two bales of, two bales of hay or three bales of hay. So you can list multiple different product short codes on a page so the customer has the choice between a couple of your donations. That way, there's something for everyone's budget and you're more likely to get a donation from your customers if there's something that they can afford. So that pretty much wraps up this tutorial on how you can simply create a PayPal donation button on your WordPress website. If you have any further questions or queries on this tutorial, don't hesitate to contact us.